Are you real ID ready? The clock is ticking, and if you don't have one by this time next year, you could be out of luck at the airport. After several pandemic pauses, you'll finally need it to travel starting next year. All right, and if you don't have one or aren't sure if you do, you're definitely not alone. Fox 5's Sharon Crowley has what you need to know. I wanted one so I could travel, and it, um, they have the 3D picture on it, and it's a better form of ID. This New Yorker says she's ready, and he is too. I remember coming here to make sure I got one in time. The, the deadlines got pushed, so it didn't really matter, but I'm happy I have one. But data shows many other travelers may not know. This time next year, the federal government will require a real ID or valid passport to board a domestic flight. The Real ID Act was passed by Congress in 2005. Lawmakers took the advice of the 9-11 Commission who suggested creating federal standards for identification following the terror attacks. You either have a real ID which has a star on it or you have an enhanced driver's license which has a flag on it or you have a passport. In order to get a real ID you have to go to the DMV in person. This is not something you can do through the mail. Once you're there you have to have proof of U.S. citizenship and proof that you're a resident of the state that you live in. You have to make sure if you've had any name changes that uh, those are all accounted for as well, and that's one of the problems that we often see trip people up. Implementing this new law has had several setbacks, including the pandemic. It's why the New York State DMV and others are trying to get the word out a year in advance. It's certainly something you want to have in your wallet if you're going to be planning a trip in, in a year that's going to require a flight. AAA Northeast urging travelers not to wait to the last minute to get one of these real IDs to avoid having to delay or cancel travel plans. I think it's going to create hassles for people because they're going to get caught up, caught off guard and not ready for that. In Midtown, Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.